Hiya, and welcome to another video of mine. Now, when I do put them out normally, what I try and do is to uh, put them in some sort of semblance of order and put across a point or something like that. And I've been finding that uh, the numbers that have subscribed to the channel are quite low. It started out really, really good. It started out really, really promising. Um, and I've got to 154 and I seem to have just stopped where I am. So I started doing some research this morning and I thought we'll we'll see where this research takes us. And I've sat there and sat there and gone through various videos on YouTube on how to increase your um, uh, your uh, status on Facebook, how to bring in more subscribers and things like that. And. One of the things that caught my eye was this guy went, just publish what you want because nobody cares. And I thought, wow, that's kind of a counterproductive thing. Nobody cares. So do you know what? I've, I've took on that and I'm, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take on board that out there nobody cares um, about what content you put on. They'll either watch it or they won't. So I've done a lot of research this week on trying to bring things together and put out a programme. Right. And it's not working for me. I, I, I am not this rigid, inflexible person. I am not somebody that's very good with authority and, and rules and things like that. What I am, what I truly am at the core of my being is I'm an entertainer. I love making people laugh. I love people giving people upliftment. So what I did was I thought, right, I'm not going to script it, but I've got my little notebook here and I just want to introduce myself. Right. I'm Rick Paul. Spiritual medium and psychic uh, is the label that I'm wearing at the moment. But as I say, essentially, what I want to do is to do readings and things, things like that. Um, sell my book as well, if that, if anybody's interested in buying my book, uh, Graceful Thoughts, there, which is available from me, and you can see the details in other videos. But what I'm, I'm looking at doing is bringing in upliftment for people. I want this to be a place where people can come in and have discussions with one another in a safe space. I, I, I'm, I just want that humour that I've worked so long with um, that I, I feel that while I've done these videos that I've kept down. Um, and where this was all inspired from, as I say, was the YouTuber this morning that says just process content because nobody cares. And also the, um, at the weekend, I'm going to the, the showground very near me to do um, readings, psychic readings, uh, using angel cards, using my mediumship and things like that. But essentially, at my heart, I'm a, a life coach uh, and an angelic healer, which will be a costume that I'm putting on for that weekend. And that is me. I wanted to call this... Uh, series that I'm, I'm hoping to do, if I can get people to um, click onto this, is Tales from Inside My Numb School, right? And the reason that I say this is not to cast aspersions on anybody else. This is purely from uh, my perspective. It is pure self-indulgence. I'm sat in front of a camera. I'm doing my work and I love showing off. You know, when you get people that come onto um, social media there and they will write this vague status about, um, you know, there's something going on in my life, but I can't say too much about it. I can't let too much go. And then they'll somebody will put a comment, oh, how are you doing, sweetheart, and all of this sort of thing. And then they'll put inbox me, hum. Right. Let me make this crystal clear. This is an attention seeking video. I do want recognition. I do want people to notice the work that I'm doing. And I want to draw attention to this, the waistcoat man. But also what I want to do with, with that is provide upliftment and entertainment. There is the serious side of the therapy work that I do. But as I'm in charge of this channel and I can pretty much do what I want, uh, you know, as long as I'm within sort of basic um, guidelines of YouTube, is I want people to hit that like and subscribe button. And bearing in mind, I'm guessing whereabouts it might be, but hit the like and subscribe button for me, please. Because over the long term, I would like to get to a point where this channel is monetized so that I can earn some money off it. Because this, what I do is my full-time business. 
I want to bring in upliftment to the people. I want to bring in um, light to the world. I, and whether that's using um, coaching, whether that's using um, the, the, the angel cards, the tarot cards or anything like that, or whether it's just you watching me making a prat of myself, I don't really care as long as it's bringing in that upliftment. But I have sat over the course of these last few months, sat in here, raking my brain, and I say raking because not racking my brain, raking my brain to see if I can make a difference out there to people. And I get some fantastic feedback. At the weekend, when I go and do my uh, little story, I will tell the story where I came from being a prison officer, uh, full time as a prison officer, to go through to now being a full time professional medium and psychic. Now, there are going to be people out there that don't believe in the medium and the psychic side. That's absolutely fine. Right? That is your 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 belief system. I am never going to sit here and lecture people about my experiences. I am not going to try and convert anybody. I'm not going to try and to change anybody's thought processes. But what I wanted to showcase is that I am a prat. Right. I absolutely love doing what I do to show off to people, to bring attention to what I'm doing, because I find that if you treat everybody the same, and that we've all got differing styles of comprehension. Um, we've all got uh, things that we find funny, things that we don't, different styles of communication, all of that sort of thing. If you start labelling and pigeonholing people, you'll lose people. So where I feel at my freest is when I'm on stage. I suffer at times from crippling anxiety, but I find that where I can step out of that mindset is on stage. So what better way to do this on this forum here to let other people know that, yes, I do um, have a business head. But what I want to keep bringing across is how much I love to bring in light and upliftment to people. So I just wrote a, a few people, a few little pointers down in here. So when I was looking at the YouTube channels, they were saying, think about what your niche is. Right. What's my niche? I'm an entertainer. I'm a psychic, a medium, and I'm now a published author. Right. What's my hook? Well, I feel down to the feedback that I've got that I'm approachable. I'm a nice guy. There are people out there that are going to um, not like me and not agree with me. And that's that's absolutely fine. They're entitled to that opinion. But I am not a unit, you know, a, a unit. I am sort of a free thinker <laughs> and I go very, very abstract at times with my thought processes. So I'm quite flexible in the fact of that if I'm dealing with somebody that's um, an analytical thinker and really, really intelligent, I'll jog alongside them because I want to know how they're, how they're processing pieces of information. But essentially, I want to get people out of that sort of darker mindset where they're stuck in things. I, I am not an expert. I have got many strings to my bow, but I'm never going to be um, sat here lecturing people on anything to do with mental health or anything like that. What I am clearly talking about is my experiences. And as I bring these videos to you, I want to reflect tales. I want to reflect stories from my perception. So, so at times from the outside, looking inwards of the experiences that I've had. And if I can get people to sort of take any seeds, anything from comfort from that and apply it to their own life and do better than me, I'm going to be highly delighted because what this this thing about doing all of this stuff on YouTube was to find out was how I could improve myself. I called it from uh, tales from inside the numbskull. Now, I always say to people when I'm dealing with them, there is a very, very fine line between self-deprecating humour, i.e. taking the piss out of yourself, and then being downright insulting. I'm very, very much of aware of where that line is. But right from a small child, what I always wanted to be before I got into the idea of a career was I wanted to be a stand-up comedian. I wanted to stand uh, stand there and entertain people and bring laughter to people because it's been my natural ability. It's always been my go-to approach that if I get in a situation where I'm stressed or where I'm uh, feeling threatened or nervous or anything like that, I play the fool because I'm good at it. I really enjoy doing it. So the numbskull part, right, was not meant to be insulting. Where the tales from the numbskull actually came from is a walk that I've just done today. I took my dogs out, as I tend to do, 
and I've um, come up with this idea where I'm going to do a series of things from my perspective. I don't necessarily want anybody to learn anything from, from these. These are just my experiences. I'm sat here at 51 years of age now as a full-time uh, working spiritual medium. But my background, I'm a fully qualified butcher. I'm a fully qualified plasterer. Um, I've also was a prison officer at two different prisons for 12 years. And I've, I've got about another 20 odd different jobs that I can pull tales from and tell you all sorts of different stories. So where the numbskulls came from, right? So I am, as I say, 51. And back in the day, there was a comic, I believe, and you probably have to go and research this, called The Beezer, right? And in The Beezer was this um, set of people called the numbskulls. And basically, you've got John, who was the human being, or in this case, Rick, and inside, he'd got his little numbskulls that operated all of the departments inside the brain. Um, there was uh, a series of shoots that if somebody wanted eating, uh, they needed feeding, they'd lift that shoot up and they'd throw food down it. As it came into the mouth, there'd be two little numbskulls throwing it down into the stomach. There would be uh, people there that would be putting into the thought box. So if John had a thought, the thought would then be processed by the numbskulls and fed back to him. That's kind of like how I've seen the inside of my brain over the years. So I don't know whether I've got um, some sort of uh, thing going on in my mind that's not stereotypical. But what I do now, and this is my own label, I am not, as I say, you think what you like. I am embracing my weirdness. I am taking the opportunity to do things and indulge myself going out there and putting myself on my stage. My aims and objectives are very, very clear. I, I would like to make money off these um, uh, productions, if you like, but I know it's going to be a long old process. I have very little patience, but as I've realised while I've been researching this week, it does take time to do things. And I've just got to keep um, persevering and pushing on because m with my mind state being quite strange and going from one thing to another I don't always focus in the way that I should so I've, I've had bouts of where I've bounced off things and, and not come to completion so this is where I put notes down because I want to keep myself on, on track so it, the thing was was get to the point already was one of the lessons on there so the products I offer you I will make sure that they're labelled up correctly on the um, on these feeds as I do them, is that I'm a spiritualist medium and I work with tarot and angel cards and they those readings can be booked with me. I've written my book, Graceful Thoughts. That can be bought from me um, um, or on Amazon, right? And I can get you a price for that. But essentially, you know, you get these people on, on telly that will turn up for the opening of an envelope to push something. I like performing. I like being in front of people. And I enjoy that. And, and I'm, I'm not batting for anybody in particular or advocating for anybody whatsoever. I'm advocating for me. Right. Because if nobody cares, I can sit here. And what I love doing is talking. And if I can get paid for talking, all of the better. There will be a tale <laughs> coming on about it at some point when I sit down and record it and do, get, get a little bit more thought to this process about how I've got from that stage of talking uh, lots to going now on stage performances and how I've had the backing and some of the knocks and some of the stories that I've got to tell in these six years since I've been doing these um, shows and things. Excuse my sniffing. All of a sudden, my nose has just suddenly started to run. The joys of running live, but there we go. Um, and what I want to say is uh, there's no holding back from this point forward. I will do as many of these videos as I can, but please, please. I've got uh, over 2,000 followers on Facebook. And the thing is that I would like you guys that are on Facebook to follow me across to YouTube. And as I say, I'm being very clear about this. The idea is that at some point I will get paid for doing these videos and hopefully have good amounts of audience. I will provoke thought with people and I will sell the products there if people want them. I will also endeavor to do more of the tarot lives and things like that. If there's anybody out there that is watching that would like me as as a guest on their podcasts, 
I am quite happy to appear and talk about my experiences on my tarot journey. Um, I will put uh, my um, spiritual journey from the prison service to um, to right here and now to a full time medium at some point. And also, um, if anybody wants me guesting on there as just a, a little bit of colour in the background, I'm quite happy to do that. I'm quite happy to converse with on anything. So this is my manifesto, right? I'm out there to entertain. I'm out there to bring through closure for people. I'm out there to help people with whatever they um, want to achieve in their life. My desire is to inspire people. I don't always get the tech things right, but essentially... What I'm here for is what you see is what you get. Um, hopefully, you guys will uh, indulge me by liking and subscribing this page. If not, please, please, please share this out to people and just come and have a look at me. Even if it's just to have a laugh for a few minutes, it is very much appreciated. All of the support that I get. Thank you very much for listening and I'll be back soon with something else. Not quite sure what it is, but I will be stepping out of the shadows. Thanks, guys. Much love to you all.